Um, water's not wet. And I can get into that science later. Uh, but we are going to make a penny wet. Okay. Now, first, what you're going to want to do with your penny before you're doing the experiment, unless you're using it as a variable, is to really wipe that penny off. Okay. So I'm going to clean that penny up. Um, and we're going to be doing some like real kind of close up stuff on this little penny right here. And what we're going to be doing is I filled my pipette with water. And the question is, how many droplets can you fit on that penny? Okay. Now, a penny's not very big. If you said a droplet was about that size, right? That's three droplets in my hand there. Uh, then you'd say, okay, well, we should be able to fit about three or four droplets on that penny. Now, we're going to look at surface tension. So, uh, when we're doing this, uh, you want to make sure that your students or yourself uh, are really uh, trying to make those droplets the same size. Okay, now I'm going to do some fairly large droplets just for the sake of time, uh, but I have two droplets on there. Uh, the most common guess that I get when I'm beginning this experiment is 10. Um, students assume that you can fit 10 droplets. Okay, I believe I'm at five there, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. I have 10 droplets on this penny right now. And as you can see, it hasn't even really spread. I have 10 droplets on this penny right now. And as you can see, it hasn't even really spread over the entire penny. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue adding those droplets. And like I said, I'm doing kind of large droplets just for the sake of time uh, for on the TV here. Uh, but when you're doing it at home, you'd want to do some small droplets. Um, unless I lost count, that should be 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, now we're going to look into the science of things. Uh, and when we're looking at that penny, instead of that penny just um, that water laying nice and flat on that penny, like it is in this glass here, that water is actually bumping up on that penny. You can see that we have a nice little um, dome on that penny. Now, this is a fun experiment that you can also do if you do that dome on a piece of glass, on a flat piece of glass.